Hey guys, welcome to Top Tabletop. I'm Gab Zuniga, and today I will show you how to play Citadels. Citadels is a competitive game for 2 to 8 players, where you compete to build the most impressive medieval city by taking a different role each round. The components are 27 character cards, 27 character tokens, 84 district cards divided in 11 religious, 11 military, 12 noble, 20 trade, and 30 unique, 5 ability tokens, 30 gold tokens, 1 crown, and 6 reference cards. We will set up a 5 player game, take 8 character cards, one from each number from 1 to 8. For your first game, the recommended cards are Assassin, Thief, Magician, King, Bishop, Merchant, Architect, and Warlord, and also take their respective character tokens, which are placed in rank order. These tokens are a reminder of which characters are being used this game. Take the 30 unique districts. Each one has a different effect described on the card. Choose 14 you like or pick them at random and add them to the rest of the district cards to form the district deck. Shuffle the deck and deal 4 cards to each player. Everyone takes 2 gold and the rest is placed nearby. The oldest player takes the crown and the game is ready to begin. The game is played over a series of rounds. Each round has two phases, the selection phase and the turn phase. In the selection phase, the player with the crown takes the character cards and shuffles them, and depending on the number of players, they randomly discard some of them face up and one face down. This is a 5 player game, so there will be one face up and one face down. Important: The rank 4 character, in this case the king, cannot be among the face up discarded cards. If this happens, discard another card face up to replace it and shuffle the rank 4 card back in the character deck. Next, the crowned player takes the remaining characters, secretly chooses one and passes the remaining cards to the player to the left, who chooses one and passes the rest, and so on until the last player has chosen a card, and the last card is discarded face down. In the turn phase, players will take turns in ascending order of their chosen character's rank. The crowned player calls each character starting with the number one, and if you have that card, you reveal it and take your turn and after all the characters have been called, the round ends. During your turn, you must gather resources. You can either take 2 gold from the bank, or draw 2 district cards from the deck, choose one to keep, and return the other one to the bottom of the deck. After gathering resources, you may build one district. You do this by paying gold equal to the building's cost, indicated on the top left of the card. You can only build one district per turn, and you cannot build a district identical to one that you already have in your city. You may also use your character's ability once per turn at the specified time. If no time is specified, you can use it at any time. Each character has a different ability. With the assassin, you can kill a character. You call their name and that character won't be called and their turn will be skipped. You can remove the killed character's token from the lineup to remind you that they were killed and won't be called. With the thief, you can rob any character except the rank 1. You call their name, and when a player reveals that character, you immediately take all of their gold. You can put a gold on the robbed character's token to remind you that they will be robbed. With the magician, you can do one of two things. Exchange your entire hand of district cards with another player, even if your hand is empty, or discard any number of cards from your hand to the bottom of the deck and take an equal number of cards. With the king, you gain 1 gold for each noble district in your city, and also, you must take the crown, and you are the new crowned player. Even if you were killed by the assassin, at the end of the round you reveal you were the king and take the crown. With the bishop, you gain 1 gold for each religious district in your city, and also, the rank 8 character won't be able to use their ability on your districts, unless you were killed. With the merchant, you gain 1 gold for each trade district in your city, and also, you gain one extra gold, regardless of which resource you gather. With the architect, you gain two extra cards, regardless of which resource you gather. And also, your building limit is three. 
and with the Warlord you gain 1 gold for each military district in your city. And also, you can destroy one district on any city by paying one fewer gold than its cost, and if it costs one, you can destroy it for free. You can even destroy one of your own districts if you want to, but you cannot destroy a district on the Bishop City or a district in a completed city, which I will explain next after flipping the table. As soon as a city has 7 districts, the city has been completed and the game will end at the end of that round. It is possible to have more than 7 districts in your city, and remember that the Warlord cannot destroy a district in a completed city. When the game ends, all players count their scores. You get points equal to the building cost of each of your districts, 3 points if your city has at least one district of each type, 4 points if you were the first one to complete your city, otherwise you get 2 points for your completed city, and finally any extra points from unique districts. The player with the highest score wins, and if there's a tie, the player with the highest rank card during the last round is the winner. The game has many variants. With 2 and 3 players, you play with 2 characters and you have to build 8 districts. With 3 and 8 players, you must use a rank 9 character, and you can also use them at any other player count. And of course, there are a lot more characters you can use, each one with unique abilities. And the game has many preset setups to mix all the different character cards and unique districts for different game styles, but the core rules are always the same. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.